Hello there. Oh, baby, it has been a minute. There, 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 there's literally nothing but ice in that cup. I don't know why I... Okay, okay. No comedy thing. There's nothing. Okay, so, um, wow, it has been a couple months since I uh, made a video like this. So, I wanted to do sort of like a TV show review thing, but in the style of my, of like my normal vlogs. Um, also, I, uh, fixed my camera. So, uh, uh, now I can shoot in 60 FPS video again, which is awesome. It, oh, it, it's so smooth. I love it. This past Tuesday, the first episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch dropped. So this video is going to be a review of that. But before we get into the video, if you're new, subscribe. Just do it. You already, you've seen my beautiful face. You know that I'm a UT Chattanooga fanboy. Um, even, even though, uh, even though, hold on a second, my, 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 my mom got me this, t a Tennessee Tech shirt, because I'm going to Tennessee Tech after I get out of community college. <sighs> so, uh, sorry, the shirt fell in the trash. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, so... Quick little update video, uh, or not video, update before we get into the review of the first episode of The Bad Batch. I am working on a video essay on this guy named Christopher Justice. He's a historian who lives in um, uh, Kansas, who's about a year older than I am. Okay, sorry about that. Um, background noise. Uh, Whenever there's background noise or anything like that, or if I stop talking, I'm going to cut it out. So, um, because I still live with my parents. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yes, I know I'm a loser, but you know what? I'm going to college. I'm doing something productive with my life, okay? Shush. Shut. So, uh, video essay on Christopher Justice is going to be out sometime either next week or the week after next week. I'm not sure at the time of this video going out, which I hope this video is going to go out on Saturday. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Yeah, so, uh, with that, um, uh, I highly suggest you guys check out Christopher Justice's, uh, channel link in the description and check out uh, uh another channel that i want to shout out named frosty fire uh he's my cousin we wanted to do something over discord but capture software didn't work so um we're gonna set up something over the summer try and do some collaboration thing but yeah the channels will be in the description so with that um on the uh, on the review so, The Bad Batch takes place after the Clone Wars, like right after the Clone Wars. Like literally the first episode takes place during one of the last battles of the Clone Wars. So, these two unnamed Jedi, one's a Jedi Knight, the other's a, this young kid who's a Padawan, are fighting with some no-name clone trooper battalion that way you don't get attached to the characters you know and 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 the gen the jedi general the jedi knight is is like you know we, we my my padawan will be here just hold out hold this position padawan comes it's like caleb where's the reinforcements um and caleb says th they were right behind me but they're 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 up on that hill uh, they're, they're gonna flank the enemy. It's like, well, how many are there? Uh, about five of them. Captain says, uh, the captain of the battalion says, uh, off, oh, oh, we're doomed. Such a f pessimist, Jesus Christ. And of course, it's the Bad Batch, Clone Force 99. So, for those of you who don't watch Star Wars, Clone Force 99 is, uh, is made up of, um, five clone troopers, and clone troopers were, uh, engineered by, uh, a group of people called the Kaminoans to fight for the Republic. Basically, 
uh, slave soldiers. But Clone Force 99 are uh, alternative, you know, genetically modified clones. So they don't really follow the directives or orders of anybody. They're basically a ragtag group of clone troopers. Um, so there's uh, Sergeant Hunter. You know, Hunter is the leader of the group, and he's sort of like the Ram, the the the, the, the Rambo, Sylvester Stallone character. Uh, Crosshair, who's the uh, weapon specialist, the sharpshooter, the sniper. Uh, Tech, who is the uh, who's the data analysis. You know, he's the smart one, the nerd. Um, Echo is the hacker. He's the guy. He's you know half droid, half uh, man. And Echo was basically killed in the, uh, or he was killed in the Battle of the Citadel. Um, when he tried to get on a ship, and the ship blew up, and then he was revived by the Techno Union, which worked with the Separatists, who the Republic were fighting against, and so then the Republic found out that, hey, this, this guy is a prisoner of war, we need to save him. Uh, and then, uh, uh, Wrecker is, uh, is sort of like the linebacker of the group, he's the demolition specialist, this big, like, six foot five, three hundred pound guy. So, these five clones just wreak havoc on an entire battalion of battle droids. Wrecker freaking, like, kicks a tank and then pushes a row of tanks. It's a lot, lot like, you know, ten to twenty ton tanks over a cliff, which is freaking awesome. Swag. So then, then, then they tell the clone or tell the Jedi general, we suggest you launch a counterattack. Droid army will be here any second. And then Tech says, actually not. Reports say that General Grievous has encountered, or that Obi Wan Kenobi has encountered General Grievous on a uh, Utapau, and uh, the war might be over soon. So, uh, but we still have a battle going on, so Tech's like, well, understandable. So, Caleb says, can I go with you guys? And Bad Batch says, absolutely, because it's freaking Jedi, and Jedi kick Um, even if it's just a Padawan, it's still a Jedi. And the Bad Batch love Jedi. Uh, they worked with, uh, with, um... Uh, Anakin Skywalker on uh, Skako Minor to rescue Echo. So as Caleb and the Bad Batch are heading off, the captain of this no-name battalion gets the order, Order 66, to kill all Jedi. And so the Jedi Knight dies, and then Caleb sort of is, is turns back and looks at the Bad Batch, and the Bad Batch is like... What's going on? And Caleb's like, stay away from me, and walks away. And that's when they realize what Order 66 is. And so eventually, so Tech and, and uh, Echo go and find the captain, and it's like, what the heck's going on? Wrecker sort of stays out in the open to stall any regular clone troopers who try to hunt for uh, the Jedi Padawan in the woods. And then Crosshair and... Hunter hunt for the Jedi Padawan in the woods. And of course, the Padawan escapes. Crosshair tries to kill the Padawan because his inhibitor chip has activated, even though the, geni the genetic modifications of the other clones, the other Bad Batch clones, overrides the Order 66. So, Hunter basically lies and says, you know, I... I, I stunned the kid as he was jumping, he didn't make it, and he, he looked down, uh, or he uh, fell down the cliff, even though he didn't, he jumped over the river and escaped. Thus ends the opening scene of the, uh, of the, of this 75 minute movie. So then, they go to, uh, Camino, their home planet, for a briefing, you know, but, but basically, the Republic is turning into the M the Galactic Empire, and the Bad Batch are like, "What the heck?" 
know, they, they get examined, uh, you know, tested to see, you know, should we replace the clones? And the Bad Batch are like, uh, <laughs> absolutely not. So, uh, they end up going, um, they end up going through a training mission where they just completely wreak havoc on the training droids. So then, Grand Moff Tarkin says, uh, put, put them through live, uh, live training. And it's like, what? This is a training, you know, training mission. This isn't a, you know, a battle. And plus, this will damage my facility. And Tarkin's like, of which you'll be con confiscated for, or com compensated for. Up come the Dark Troopers, which we saw them in The Mandalorian, except they were black instead of white. And it, with a little bit of effort, the Bad Batch take out the Dark Troopers and then proceed to be like, what the heck? You could have freaking killed us. What the heck is wrong with you? And that's when they're like, hey, this Empire thing isn't all it's cracked up to be. Uh, so then they meet this guy, or this girl, this little girl named Omega, who's, uh, who's a sort of a female clone. They go to, uh, their barracks to sort of blow off steam, and Tarkin comes in and says, hey, we have a mission for you. Go to Alderaan to kill a separatist insurgents. Okay, we can do that. You know, smash some clankers. They go in covertly. They go into the camp where they assume there's going to be droids and stuff. And it's a group of people, humans, li living beings. And so, they're, and so, you know, Hunter says, you know, we were tasked here to kill a bunch of insurgents. We were, you know, we, we, where are the droids? Where are the separatists? It's like, well, according to the Empire, we are the separatists. We were part of the Republic during the Clone War, but the Clone Wars is over. So, um, so that's when Hunter's like, th th this isn't right. You know, we have orders, but we're the Bad Batch. We don't follow orders. We do our own thing. So, Hunter says, we're gonna go back to Kamino and give Tarkin the who for and whatnot, because we're the Bad Batch. You know, y you said we were gonna kill enemies of the Republic, not a group of innocent human beings fighting for peace and justice of their home planet. So then Tarkin is like, oh, well you guys aren't supposed to think for yourselves and lock them in the brig, of which they reunite with Omega, and eventually they break out of the, pris of, of the brig, and they escape Kamino, and thus ends the uh, thus ends the uh, the first episode of uh, of the Bad Batch. Oh, and Crosshair, who inhibitor chip activated, but isn't as you know intense as the other clone troopers. So you know he still has loyalty to Tarkin and the Emperor and the Empire and stuff like that. So Tar so Tarkin exploits this and says, uh, Crosshair, come with me. We're gonna basically brainwash you into hating your own brothers. Uh, so Crosshair basically leaves the Bad Batch as Omega, Hunter, Tech, Wrecker, and so, uh, and uh, they ended up plotting a course for J-19, which means that, which is a set of coordinates in the Outer Rim, which means we're probably going to see, uh, see um, Captain Rex and Ahsoka Tano at some point. Yeah, the new episode has already come out by the time this video is uploaded. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a review of that. So, uh, yeah, this has been my review of the first step, or a recap, I guess, not really a review. You, you guys know my opinion. I love Star Wars. It was a freaking good episode. Yeah, this has been my uh, review of Star, or re recap of Star Wars The uh, Bad Batch. And um, uh, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching for this long. And uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Goodbye.